Welcome back. Oh, there we go. Well, it wasn't the Melodexio, but it did appear to be a study for an element of the painting, the Ouroboros. There was something different about the image in the center. I figured the sketch might come in handy, so I took it. What the heck? I told you that portfolio was private! Huh? Well, that was fun. Just like when you were a private dick, George. So, you're not models? No, Mr. Hobbs. Well, you can't be a copper. You're not stupid enough. So what the blazes are you doing in my studio? We're investigating the theft of La Maledixio. I told you I just restored it. That's what I do. Restore paintings. And these sketches? Studies done during the restoration. Nothing more. I've got nothing to do with what happened after that painting left this studio. How was I to know it was going to get Henri killed? Hang on a second. How do you know Henri's dead? Look. He and I went back a long way. Le Lézard Bleu was on the rope, so I got the painting into his exhibition. Nothing like this was supposed to happen. We're not accusing you of anything, Mr. Hobbs. We just want to get to the bottom of this. I get that, and I'll help you however I can, but this mess is way above my pay grade. How come you needed to make so many sketches of the painting to restore it? Restoration is not about throwing a lot of paint around. It, it takes research. The surf is a complicated painting. A lot of subtext. A lot of symbols. Tell me about the symbols in La Maledizio. Very Christian, deeply religious, but not exactly orthodox. The sort of thing that would upset a priest? There was one at the gallery telling everyone how evil it was. As I said, it's not exactly orthodox. And the church can be very touchy about orthodoxy. Especially now they can't just burn anyone they disagree with. Why would anyone want to steal La Maledizio? It's not exactly a famous painting. True, but there is something special about it that's hard to describe. There's conviction in every brushstroke. Whoever El Serp was, he had a tale to tell. The symbolism is deeply religious. We have reason to believe that Madovsky is mixed up in the theft of La Melodexio. Eh? <laughs> what would he gain from stealing his own painting? We have strong evidence that Madovsky is not the real owner. He'll have a hard time proving that. Madovsky has a full set of providences for the painting. It traces its legitimate ownership all the way back to the painter. Why didn't Madovsky mention them? Because they're not with him. Henri's got them. Or had them. And Henri is dead. So ask his partner. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal, you're wasting your time looking for conspiracies here. And you're wasting my time if you're not actually going to get naked. Go get the provenance from Lane, and everything will turn out hunky-dory. But it also puts Marquez's story into question. Not my problem, darling. Now both of you, get lost. I've got a painting to finish. And we have a critic to interrogate. Someone's lying, but who? Is it the gangster or the old Spaniard? The painter or the art critic? I need to head back for Nave's reconstruction. What about the evidence from Medovsky's house? Will you give it to Nave? I think I should. And I can put the squeeze on Lane. Ask him about the provenance. Good. I've got lunch with Ronnie tomorrow. This story is hurting up, and I want to make sure he keeps me on it. Taxi? Right, uh... Let's get to the gallery. Here I was again at the crime scene. Inside the gallery, I could see lots of activity. 
Nave preparing for the reconstruction, no doubt. Nico and I had a good idea who the killer was. Now all we had to do was persuade Nave. Sir, I already tried starting it up. I, I think it's broken. Nonsense, Moo. This machine has the power of ten investigators. But investigators never fail to start up, sir. Your pessimism is duly noted, Moo. But have faith. This machine will analyze the scene, compute the data, and deduce everything for us. The location of the second shooter will be a mystery no more. <clears throat> second shooter. One moment. A marvel indeed, sir. Though at the moment, it is kaput. Your pessimism has obviously infected the circuitry, Moo. Let me think for a moment. If I could just... Shh! Eh bien, Moo. Now, try realigning the laser matrix. Sir, I have no idea what that is. Move over, Moo. Now, let me see. Oscillating reverberator. Check. Refraction spectrometer. Check. Now, what can I do? I bet the plugs are turned ah, off. Monsieur Stobacht, it's only you. Glad you could finally make it. Inspector. I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yes? I shall be the judge of that. I think I know who the killer is. Really? Yep. He's a gardener called Shears living in London. Fascinating. And the good news? We don't need to do your reconstruction. You joke with me, Monsieur Stabat. It's not a joke. This guy Shears was working for a Russian ex-mobster. It's all part of a highly complex fraud. Gardeners, KGB, fraud. You have fantasist, monsieur. And I have no time for fantasy. Reality is my suitcase, as you Americans say. Now, stand over there and keep out of trouble until the others arrive. Well, who are we waiting for? Mademoiselle Collard and Father Simeon. Please, I am very busy. Ah, Moo, a clever choice, but no cigar for you. Try the red. Mon Dieu! Try to turn it on and off again. If I pulled the plug out, I'd just get Nave even more worked up. I decided to bide my time and wait for the right moment. Lane. Stobart. What's the deal with that device over there? It's a farce. They've been trying to get it working for hours. Looks like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. It probably is. What do you think of Nave? The man is a buffoon. I have better things to do than wait for these idiots to get their forensic whatnot to work. The only silver lining is that Nave seems more annoyed than I am. I gather you're the man to ask about the provenance for the painting. For La Maledictio? Well, you have been busy, haven't you, Stobart? I'd like to see it. So speak to Bijou. She took care of the business side of the gallery. The provenance is in the office safe. She has the key. Lane was a pushover when you had him cornered. Though it looked like Bijou hadn't been completely honest with me after all. I needed to pay her another visit. What do you think of Moo? Who? The policeman with Nave. I assume he's another idiot. Why is that? I believe one can tell a man by the company he keeps. I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Lane. Okay, thanks. 
Yes, yes. Sir, I think we are ready. Oops. Yes, I was just about to say the same thing. Do it. Mm. What have you done? Pardon me, sir, but I believe it was you who said... This is no time for blame. You have broken the machine. Mon Dieu. Clit. <laughs> if I pulled the plug out, I'd just get Nave even more worked up. Stop it. Monsieur Stobart, you will not leave until this is over. Understood? But I just need to... This is a reconstruction. You will remain here until I have concluded my investigations. Do I make myself clear? Okay, okay, clear. I considered making a run for it, but forcing Mu to chase me would have been cruel. And it would have been <laughs> silly to risk my investigation. Better to play along with Nave and get the reconstruction over as quickly as possible. You can do it. Okay. It was pointless trying to get a closer look at the machine while Nave and Mu were tinkering with it. Can I ask you something else? If you must. What does it do? Your guess is as good as mine. Is Nave a good detective, do you think? He's as good a detective as I am a dancer. Do you light on your feet, Lane? Do I look like I am? <laughs> is there anything else you're not telling me, Mr. Lane? Get lost. Changed your opinion of Moo yet? Who? Moo. Who? Never mind. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yes, yes. Excuse me. Please, monsieur, I'm a little busy. Inspector Nave. What seems to be the problem? Monsieur Stobart, if Paris' finest cannot get this very expensive and very complex machine to work, then I doubt if an insurance salesman can... I'm an insurance assessor, actually. Oh, I see. Well, la di da to you, monsieur. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, la di da to you back. Hmm. Whatever. You are neither qualified nor clever enough to operate such an instrument. Like us. What was that, move? I said, uh, unlike us, sir. Have you been a detective long? Long enough, monsieur? You've solved a lot of crimes, I guess. More than you have had at dinners. Well, I've had a lot of hot dinners, Inspector. Oh, yes? How many? What? Precisely how many hot dinners have you had, Monsieur? I don't know. Uh, thousands? You prove my point for me, Monsieur. Precision and accuracy are everything. You truly are a unique and amazing man, Inspector Nave. Well, I'm glad you are impressed. I was sure I could get the machine to work if I could just get Nave out of the way.
it was pointless trying to get... Inspector Nave. I know this sounds obvious, but are you sure it's plugged in? Monsieur Stoddart, do you really think I would be so stupid as to not check the fundamentals? We all make mistakes. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. <laughs> Look, I can see from here it's... Ah. Do you need assistance, sir? Very funny. <laughs> One moment. That got rid of him. Now is my chance. I was going to have to figure that out quickly. I'm surprised I got that so Time fast. To get the show on the road. Usually takes me ages. I kind of thought. Look, I guess. See, move. I knew I would get it working. I'm not sure that Here's a you table. precisely. You knew my superior intellect would win through in the end. Yes, sir. Sir, I beg your pardon, but I think there is a teeny snag. Go, go on. We have no victim. Good God, Mu, are you suggesting I kill someone for the sake of this reenactment? No, sir. Just saying we need a body, sir. Ah, yes, I see. You'll make a detective yet, Mu. I, of course, foresaw this, and I nominate you. Me? Well, I'm not dead. Have you ever acted, Monsieur Stobart? Well, I <laughs> don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I went down a storm playing the lead in Cat on a Felt-Tip Roof last summer. Hmm. You played the cat? Uh, no. So, not the lead. Half truths again, monsieur. Nevertheless, here is your chance to play a real lead role. But he looks nothing like the victim, sir. Oh, damn it, Moo. Must you find problems all the time? Let me think of a way to make this work. Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a long, long wait. I had to find something to make me more like Henri. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something. Yes, you do that. Very similitude is the key, Stobart. Ah, you have arrived at last. Please, make yourselves comfortable. We are just making some last-minute adjustments. Father Simeon, Nico. Hi, Josh. Welcome to the asylum. Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed we've solved the case and he's putting us up for an award. Mm, not quite. I told him about Shears and Madofsky. He says it's fantasy. But that's crazy! Tell me about it. So what do we do now? Carry on anyway, and nail Madofsky. What about Nave? Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Well, sooner it starts, sooner it's over. Josh, what on earth is that machine? It's Nave's baby. Supposedly, it's going to analyze the crime scene and tell us what happened. But we already know what happened. Sure we do. But Nave doesn't. Quiet! Please! How can I concentrate <laughs> with all this racket going on? Lane was right. Nave was an idiot. The best place to find Henri's things was in his office. The desk was covered with Henri's junk, and none of it was of any use. It was a statue of Henri.
I opened the compartment again. fragrance that dare not speak its name. The window looked out on the street. Outside it was quiet. 